wash your face, wash your heart. Well, um, I, as you just said, I heard it from Noritake Roshi, who I studied with a little bit, wonderful teacher. And I assume, I'm pretty sure, he it's a phrase that he also took from somewhere else. Maybe it's an old phrase used in Zen. And uh, it could be um, maybe referring to practice itself, meaning that there is um, an aspect of ourselves, our mind, you know, but not just our head mind, you know, our whole spirit, our whole beingness, which really needs attention, just like our body. And uh, we do wash ourselves, you know, maybe a little bit too mindless too, you know. Uh, one of the last doctor visits, he said I should use more lotion on my body, and I still don't, you know. <laughs> and, but even more important, you know, we really have to uh, pay attention to our what in Buddhism is called the heart mind, yeah, and um, we don't in our society we just don't, and uh, you know people become aware you know especially if in, the, in the mid ages uh, mid age you know then they have their life crisis and then they go jogging and dancing and what have you, but um, I suggest to do it earlier, you know because. Um, the earlier we do it, the closer we are to still our sense of what it is to be alive as a child. And that's exactly the sense we need to keep alive, um, even when we become adults, even until we are old, even until we die. And uh, washing your heart is kind of making sure that always that original liveliness, sponta spontaneity, um, being present with whatever is, you know, being non-judgmental, you know, that's kind of one aspect of washing your heart-mind. And uh, how do you do that in this, in this practice? Yeah. Well, uh, one ba basic aspect, especially in the Zen tradition, is just to sit down and to, you know, what you call medi meditate, but even to say to meditate, maybe to say too much. Maybe ch better to say, just sit down and do nothing, you know, and just to be there for a moment. And then all the dust, you know, all the dirt, just as if you look into your, the mirror. And, you know, it was funny, this retreat, uh, day one, afternoon, first time I looked into the mirror. Obviously, I didn't do it in the morning. And I saw that um, my t shirt underneath my robes was put on wrong so very obvious like the thing <laughs> everybody could see it <laughs> so I didn't wash my face in the morning so too much focused on my heart mind uh, but so same if you sit down and just look at your heart mind immediately you see if you have your t-shirt on uh, inside out or correctly you know and then you say oh I'm so glad I have a chance to, to correct this before going out into the world <laughs> 